Well, we're all set to go. Soon, we'll be staging a campaign to storm the territory claimed by Yuzia and liberate Eastern Europe. We're calling it Operation Bunker Shot. You'll be going through Area V9D over the Adriatic Sea and into Croatian airspace within the SEU. The ground force will divide into two groups and circumvent Ruta, one of the Elefiti Islands, for the landing. The landing point features a narrow road going inland. It is well suited for defending against invaders, and we can expect heavy enemy resistance. Our air squadrons will wipe up hostiles on the beach and keep ground casualties to a minimum. If we succeed, this could be the tipping point that'll end the entire Yuzian War. We're gonna strike them right in the throat. squadrons. We need to keep the landing teams on both sides protected. How will you manage that will decide the fate of this island. This is Collins of Whiskey Team. We're gonna go round Rhode Island to the west as we approach the coastline. When we cross the channel, we'll be exposing ourselves to concentrated fire from the left and right sides. We'll be counting on our aerial support here. Well, now, squadron. This is Birds of Echo Team. We'll be breaking through the east side of Ruda Island, currently under the control of enemy naval fleet. Compared to the warships they got out there, our SSCs are the king crews. We need those ships neutralized from the air. Wishing we were back in your own king crews, no birds. Negative, Sergeant. Try to save the jokes until after we reach the landing point, without any new rules punched into us. Yes, sir! Warrant Officer Birds! Wait, did he say birds? Wasn't that a woman talking? This is Sky Eye. Allied naval forces have begun their bombardment. Operation Bunker Shot is now underway. Today's my birthday, by the way. Make sure this op is so successful they turn it into a national holiday. Yeah, I love a birthday present there. Enemy installation on Ruta Island. The attack squad will take attack orders from Burns and Collins from the Marine FAC.
on the eastern route. Echo team engaging enemy fleet. We have reports of casualties. Hostile fire, we're losing ground! Damage report! Stay focused! We got fighter bombers too! Engaging! I see bandits in the air above the coastline. Bone arrow, go on ahead and engage. I got that. Bridge back one to all units. Intercept and engage. Copy. Landing team will reach the coast in two minutes. Locked up.
this. Copy. Edge, Roger. Reach back units. You hear that? We got nothing to be afraid of. That was the Grey Reaper haunting the skies. You said it. On the ground and in the air. We can do this!
a massive stretch of land. That, and someone's watching us from up high, too. We're going to free the world from both of these threats, and you're going to be here to witness it. Great to see all of you back here. The landing operation was a success, albeit a costly one. It'll definitely give us the advantage as we commence operations across the Eurasian continent. Meanwhile, though, it's still slow going for the battle lines in Western Russia, where a separate operation is currently underway. The Butterfly Master's craft was spotted over Moscow. We still have no idea where he's actually based, though. As for the space weapon we saw in action, we'll brief you on what we know later on. For now, I want you all to take a well-deserved rest. We've obtained detailed information on an orbital weapon called the Olds. It's part of what they call the Shattered Skies Project. It was created in order to keep the Ulysses fragments away from the geosynchronous orbit range. But Werner R&D secretly used the system to help them deploy a tactical weapon. The system uses lasers fired from satellites to vaporize the surface of orbital matter, using the resulting thrust to change its orbit. Instead of readjusting orbits to keep the Earth safe, they've rejiggered it to send the fragments crashing to the surface in the area of their choice. They still haven't fully analyzed the effect of these orbital strikes. I doubt it's very accurate as a weapon yet. However, in theory at least, ults can be used to attack anywhere across the entire planet. We have Ulysses Part 2 on our hands here. Olds does have a safety latch of sorts, which makes it impossible for the network to target man-made objects in orbit. However, it'll only be a matter of time before Werner deactivates it. We are expanding the range of Operation Eternal Liberation. Campaigns are underway within the Eurasian continent as well. The Arrowheads will be reorganized by squadron and will participate in ops across the entire continent. Any of you think you can top our ace? I look forward to seeing you try. Dismissed. Well, you're sounding chipper. Something good happened to you? I finally found a decent opponent. That ribbon guy should provide plenty of fun. Mm -hmm. The Papillon Project. I think another page in history is about to be turned. Is there any way to solve the lag issues with data transfer, though? I'm sure you must feel cramped here. Mm-hmm. Not at all. I like it. I've got a front row seat to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>